ripped, you need it when the chips are down. And it all comes from the mind. I'm struggling here. I need to do something to get myself out of this problem. And that's where you get grit. You think, well, I'm going to do it. The mind tells me I'm going to do it. The body is weak. The body is tired. But the grit will get me through it. You have to lose your fear of failure. Failure is a part of the process. People who never fail, never try. You have to fail. You got to get it wrong to get it right. You learn nothing from winning. You only learn from your failures. Why not? Why not see how much you can earn? Why not see how much you can learn? Why not see how many skills you can develop? Why not see what kind of person you can become? Why not see what kind of influence you can have? At the end of every day, you look yourself in the mirror and you ask yourself, did I get better today? If the answer is yes, and you do that for five years, 10 years, 15 years, how much better are you going to be? Are you getting better every single day? That's the question. And if it's taking small steps, you don't try to get it all done in one day, in one week, in one year. It's the process of getting better every day and doing that for a period of years that then create the masterpiece. I want to ask you a question. What are your fears? What are you scared of? Something that's blocking us, that's holding us back. Some people call fear false evidence appearing real. Suffering is a part of life. It is something that you cannot avoid. And the more you try to avoid it, the more you prolong its impact on your life. We suffer more in imagination than in reality. That's why the conversations that you have to have with yourself have to be engaging, have to be empowering. You got to speak life over you when it feels like death is all around you. You have to speak up and not allow yourself to be put on mute because when you suffer in silence, someone else suffers as well. Suffering teaches you how to survive. It teaches you how to thrive. It teaches you how to win because when you come out of suffering, you come out of a survivor. And what survivors have is a game plan in life of how to make it and how to sustain. And when others find the world is clear, it's because you cleared the world for them. That's the challenge of understanding that suffering doesn't last always. But you can always outlast the suffering. You will face pain on this way. Accept the pain. Smile at the pain. Embrace the pain. Struggle. Pain. Is the gatekeeper of destiny. Pain is there to ask you one simple question. Do you really want to achieve your goals or are you just a talker? Purpose. No one can create your purpose for you. No one can tell you who to be. So in purpose, you have to create your own purpose. And in evolution, you have to evolve towards that purpose. It's easier to live when you have goals to meet. You understand? Identify with what you love, and once you love it, hone in on that thing until you can master it to the point where people can identify that there's no questioning your love for it. There's no replacement for persistence, as simplistic as that is. And if you want to master something, I think that's the thing most people don't do. They read a little bit, they listen a little bit, they dip in and out. They don't go day and night, night and day in total immersion in something that transforms them and also something that makes them push through their fears. Because in the end, that's the only thing that stops with you. Everybody's got a story. I didn't know this person. I don't have the resources. They have all the things they don't have. But if you're resourceful, you can get the money, you can get the time, you can get the energy, you can get anything you want. Times that we should proceed with caution, but it's the difference between being stopped by fear. It's the difference between having a fear and the fear having you. The biggest regret of the dying is never becoming your ideal self. I want to leave this earth becoming who I know deep within I, I am supposed to be. Sometimes you got to stop focusing and thinking about what could have happened and what should have happened. And you got to live in what is happening and focus on surviving it. Because the quicker you, quicker you can survive it, the quicker you can use it quicker you can extract a lesson from it, the quicker you can glean perspective from it. And for all of us, we're going to encounter those defining moments in our lives, right, to where it's going to hurt. All you have to do is decide not to quit, because within of every one of us is the ability and the DNA to overcome and to win. And when we win, we never know when it's going to happen, but it comes. It may not be today. It may not be tomorrow. 
It may not be next week, but the day is coming. And it's not about every dog having this day. It's the fact that you don't allow the day to dog you. You get up and you go after it. You believe and you fight through it. And then no matter what it is that you're going through, the suffering will come to an end. And you will learn in the suffering that it created pressure. And when the pressure comes, it'll bust the pipe and the dams of life will come open. And that's why you end up in the flow of life that allows you to win. But you got to believe that the suffering has a purpose, but so do you.